A new report by the Federal Housing Administration says the chance it will need a bailout next year, quote, is close to 50 percent. Over the past five years, the FHA's market share has grown 600 percent and its cash reserves have fallen. AEI's Edward Pinto says it's overextended. They now have over a trillion dollars of mortgages that they guarantee. They've got 635,000 of them are seriously delinquent. Bad home loans fueled the meltdown at the start of the latest recession. At a Senate committee hearing today, lawmakers look for hope that the housing market will stop holding back the recovery. I have never seen uh, the nation move into an economic recovery without housing being one of the drivers and having a housing market that is on the move and thriving again is going to be critical to that. But the conservator of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac had little hope to offer them. Home foreclosures were up 7% last month, though they were lower than a year ago. And Fannie and Freddie remain on government life support. These institutions, one of the colossal failures in U.S. history, $182 billion now uh, that uh, taxpayers have uh, squandered on these institutions. Still, President Obama is counting on the institutions to help people refinance loans that are more than their houses are worth under an executive order that bypasses Congress. We're just going to go ahead and act on our own. Meanwhile, conservator Edward DeMarco is defending tens of millions of dollars in bonuses paid to Fannie and Freddie's top executives. I am trying to encourage these people to stay and continue to mitigate losses and keep the current infrastructure of the country's housing finance system operating. DeMarco's trying to gradually reduce Fannie and Freddie's share of the market and have the private sector pick up more. Private lenders pulled back from the market after the subprime meltdown, and the FHA has been filling the void. Now Pinto says it has overstayed its welcome. Uh, recently, the private sector has been trying to get back into the market with private capital, and FHA has largely been standing in the way. An FHA bailout could be tens of billions of dollars, but experts say without the FHA loan guarantees, home prices would have fallen even further, and even more people would owe more than their homes are worth.